Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on mysterious and weird true stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 759, written by Anonymous. I defeated the void. In my parents' house, things always go missing. It kind of just became a common occurrence. Before I was born and my brother was too, my mom's makeup started disappearing and she found them years later on top of the kitchen cupboards in impossible to reach corners. Things that I had just put down on the table or side, etc. would vanish and after I've looked all around the house I would go back to where I thought I put them and they'd be there again. The one time and coincidence that stands out to me is when I was looking for my necklace before leaving the house. I had taken it off the previous afternoon and placed it somewhere although I just couldn't find it. I was on my own as everyone else had already left for work. I had been looking for a few good minutes and I was frustrated. While standing in the middle of the kitchen I said into the void, Could you please give me back my necklace? Literally, as soon as I finished that sentence I heard a thunk of metal in the living room. I walked over and there was my necklace, just on the floor, about 50 centimeters away from the nearest shelf. I was a bit dumbfounded and I was in a hurry so I just said, um thank you, I guess, and ran off to college. Nobody was in that room, there was no draft or breeze or anything that could have knocked it off the shelf. It wasn't at an impossible distance for it to have fallen but it was a very unlikely one. Paired with this even more unlikeliness of it falling right as I asked for it. So if your things go missing, maybe try asking for them back? Case Notes for File 759 I Defeated the Void Okay, so this is a new twist on it. We have disappearing object phenomena and now, apparently, we can just ask for our stuff back. I never even thought to ask. Universe? Entities? Can I have my tennis balls back? Hmm. Apparently not. Maybe you have to be in the same place as where they disappeared from or in the general vicinity. Whoever took my tennis balls is long gone by now. I hope they have fun with them. Bonus file, written by Doc Juji McFly, the bioluminescent entity. Quick backstory, I, 27 female, live on an 80 acre farm that has been in my family since the 1870s. I grew up here since I was a baby, I have encountered many spirits on this land. Most of them are friendly, such as ancestors and animals. Other people have noted paranormal encounters on this property and we have family lore about many of the ghosts. In addition, I consider myself an amateur medium as certain spirits have given me messages to share with their loved ones. So I have experience with these things, but what I saw last night baffled me. I thought I had seen it all. Nope. I stayed up late last night doing my nails and watching documentaries. Around 2am I got tired and decided to go to sleep. I was the only one home last night. So I walked through the house locking up and turning off lights. Our farm is in a very rural area and my bedroom window faces a cow pasture. There are no visible lights outside after we turn ours off. It gets pitch dark, country dark as some say. So imagine my surprise when climbing into bed and seeing what looked like a person with a high vis flashlight standing in the field outside my window. The light was bright enough that I could make out some of the trees along the fence row. I sat up in bed and leaned forward to get a closer look. I could make out the figure of a woman walking towards the creek in the pasture, only she wasn't holding a light, she was glowing from head to toe, a yellow golden glow, it was like bioluminescence. My heart stopped and I was frozen. I stared at her in shock for at least a full minute, a full bodied apparition moving plain as day. First she was walking, then skipping, then dancing towards the creek. It looked like she was wearing a bonnet and a dress. I finally got the courage to get out of bed and go to the window to get a closer look. When I got to the window, she was gone. I got back in bed and looked out the window again. She was gone without a trace. I haven't seen her again, yet. I have no explanation as to what this was and it shocked and scared me. Has anyone else seen or heard of glowing full-bodied apparitions? Case notes for the bonus file, The Bioluminescent Entity.
So first I just want to mention to anyone who doesn't know, there's a map you can google, it's just a light pollution map. And on it you can see different classes of night sky based on light pollution. So class 1 to all the way to class 9. Class 1 is where there's the least amount of light pollution, which you only really get in like Antarctica or the deep of uh, the Atlantic Ocean. But you can generally find class 2 areas in the United States, and it's a vista that you can't even fathom. You can see, I mean, if you go out, if you live in like a suburb or a city, you can go out and you can see some stars at night. It's still nice, absolutely. But when you go into the deep of class 2, or even class 3, you can see almost the entire galaxy. It opens up your soul to the possibilities of the deep wonder out there. And I highly recommend it. If anyone hasn't seen the night sky in its proper glory without all the light rays scattering in the atmosphere from our uh, technology, which is awesome, but it just it removes this option from seeing how beautiful the universe is and truly how vast, unimaginably vast. You gotta see it. And also, bring marshmallows and light a campfire because nothing beats a night sky, cool air, crisp, and fire-roasted marshmallows. Mm. Bring some graham crackers and chocolate too and make a s'more. Nothing's better than that. Well, no, bring a hot chocolate too. <laughs> Can't go wrong with all that. So, dare I say it, aliens? There are animals on Earth that are bioluminescent. So the idea that there could be some sort of alien that naturally has bioluminescence? It's not inconceivable. Perhaps from a planet that doesn't get as much light, so they had to make their own, in a sense. Or even a deliberate genetic alteration on their part. That said, uh, given how you describe it, probably not. Uh, wearing a, an alien wearing a bonnet and a dress, frolicking in the night air, uh, probably definitely a spirit. But yeah, I've never heard of a spirit that's so glowing with energy. And we've all heard of the ball essence, energy, but that's typically bluish, not yellow and golden. And doesn't typically take shape and form like a human being. It's just a ball of energy floating around. So this is definitely a different twist, a fully manifested human form that is yellow and white in its golden glow. The possibility that it's an alien is diminishing as rapidly as my mood after I finish the last slice of pizza. You know, just gotta order another one I guess. Bonus file, written by Archimery, an angel within the light. Last year, my dad passed away. He had two types of cancer at the same time. Two weeks before he passed away, we drove to a hospital, my mom, dad and me. At the time, we thought that he probably wouldn't return from the hospital. At some point of the journey, my mom asked my dad while crying that if it happens, show us a sign that he is in a good place. My dad said okay. He passed away two weeks later in a hospital, with the family being there, holding his hand while it happened. I remember that night, I was the last one to go to sleep and the living room was obviously completely dark. But the next morning, something happened. My dad had a favorite painting in the living room, made by a famous painter who is his childhood friend. The painting portrays an angel, but it can only be seen if the painting is lit from the right angle. My dad showed this painting to every guest explaining that it was an angel on it, and bought a special lamp so that the angel can be more easily visible. The switch is in a remote place, so I can't really switch it on accidentally. I was the first one to wake up the next morning, and the second was my mother. She sat in front of me and asked, Did you turn that on? I didn't understand what she was talking about, so I looked. The angel was lit up. Me being a logical person, immediately I tried to find a logical explanation. However, I couldn't find any. Sometimes it's better if there is none. Feel free to share your thoughts and or similar experiences. Case notes for the bonus file, The Angel Within the Light. So I do agree that sometimes, as much as I, from an outside perspective, love to ponder and speculate on the causes and rational explanations for all these glitches, either if they're mundane or, you know, actual supernatural explanations, sometimes if it's happening to you, an explanation isn't needed. What's needed for you is closure. Your dad fulfilling the promise he made in the car to let you know that he's okay. But honestly, in short, I'm just so happy that your dad was able to give you the sign for your mother too. That's great.